So yeah, this is the 10th one. It actually marks our third calendar year of running this program, which I, for one, am extremely proud that we can keep it going that long, and we look forward to keeping it going for a lot longer. Um, we'd like to initially thank Nancy Gurdon, Mallory Tuttle, Jerry Cronin, and Steve Goad in the back there, along with the rest of the folks um, here at the ODU IIE, um, and in the business school, and all of you who came out to participate. Nan uh, excuse me, Mallory is going to come up and say a few words and introduce you all to this place, which she calls home. Yes, yeah, so welcome. If you haven't been here before, you are in the Strom Entrepreneurial Center. Letters are behind you, just in case you need a reference or want to look up our website. Um, we are a resource to ODU students, faculty, staff, alumni, and the general community. So if you are an entrepreneur or an inspiring entrepreneur, innovator, want to get some help, want to figure out how we can help you with your idea and take it to the next level, feel free to stop by, send us an email, find us on Facebook or one of our social media channels, and we'd be happy to chat. Uh, we have Kobe Lomax in the back. Uh, he's one of our student assistants and student entrepreneurs who's recording the video today. And typically in the space, when class is in session, you'll see a lot more uh, flurry of activity and students and collaboration and innovation going on here. So we welcome you to come check out the space. We host Tuesday events, 12.30 to 1.30, every Tuesday here with different speakers. So those are open to the public. Uh, we'd invite you to attend and check those out. But thank you again for coming, and if you have any questions, I'll be here, so feel free to, to grab me after the event. So thank you, Mallory. Our next event, mark your calendars, our next 757 pitch is going to be March 19th. The venue is yet to be determined, but it will be March 19th and the same uh, time schedule, 530 to 830 p.m. So mark your calendars for that. Um, I should, probably should have started by introducing myself. I'm Chris Shelton, the executive director of a um, local organization called Starwheel. Uh, you can find us at starwheel.org. I'll make a few more comments in a moment. I'm going to give Jerry the floor for, for now. Sounds good. Uh, Jerry Crone and I run a program at the Institute called Tempo. And uh, Chris and I started this plan bake uh, three calendar years ago uh, with the idea that Hampton Roads try to shape the trees and find opportunities. So when folks have the question, man, I just have this idea, what do I do with it? We wanted to have something where the community could come out and do pitches, get in front of people, and uh, you know, hopefully we find some things that we could then work with with the various programs we were in at the time and now in, in other places uh, to get stuff up and going in Hampton Roads. And what we're particularly interested in is those things that have some potential for scale. And what we mean by that is ideally things that could potentially go national or in, uh, international have some way of growing. The idea being we want to bring revenues into the area. We want to bring investment into the area. We want people to get excited and know that, boy, this is kind of a cool place to be. So that was the genesis of 757 pitch. And I, I guess we're doing OK because now we're you know, at 10, we did a drive run with a thing called Innovate Her, which was a, an SBA competition for uh, uh, centered around kind of women's needs and family needs. But, you know, 10, we'll call it 10.5. Uh, we'll work from there. So let me see, what have I missed? Uh, yeah, we're looking to help build the ecosystem around here and make it robust and look left and look right. You know, you're all part of it. So, uh, you know, welcome. Come to the next ones. If you have any ideas, if you have friends with ideas, uh, bring them along. Back to you, sir. Back to your regularly scheduled program. Um, so again, I'm Chris Shelton with Startwheel.org. Startwheel is a local nonprofit whose mission is to uh, bring together constituents of the entrepreneurial ecosystem. <coughs> that, of course, includes everyone in this room because you came out here tonight to participate, to watch. And showing up is really just half the battle. So keep that in mind as you keep working on your companies or with anybody else's company. Just showing up is half the battle. Um, so we, we do that through our website, startwheel.org. You can find all of the events in Hampton Roads. Probably 90% of the events that are happening in, in the region related to tech innovation and entrepreneurship will be on Startwheel dot org slash events. So check that out. You can export it to your own calendar, um, though it will fill your calendar up quite quickly. We've got some 40 other calendars from around the region that automatically feed into it, which is 
really cool. We also have a resource directory. So finally, there's somebody in the region who wakes up every morning and thinks about how to bring, put, put more connectivity between the resources and the entrepreneurs um, so that you can do more faster, right? Um, and we also have content related to entrepreneurs, startups, success stories from around the region. You can find that on our uh, news feed on the website as well as our Facebook and our LinkedIn, so do connect with us on those. We also have a newsletter that we've uh, been sending out about monthly. I sent around a sign-up sheet just for um, this uh, event in general, and then there's a field, a column there, if you would like us to add you to our newsletter email database. It is totally not spammy, but if you feel that way, feel free to unsubscribe. It's not that big of a deal, um, but I think you would find it interesting. Um, without further ado, let's go ahead and introduce our panel of judges for the evening. Thank you all for coming out. First up, we've got Holly Biggers. Yeah, Holly is an operations-oriented business owner with roots in project management. This native of Boulder, Colorado, has moved here to follow her love of the ocean and sailing in it. Welcome to town. Wes, her adorable husband, <laughs> Wes Biggers recently located to Norfolk, go figure, along with his wife um, from Denver. And he's been the owner of two businesses over the last 10 years, building on an engineering background and experience as a product manager in the Navy nuke, meaning he was off holed up on a submarine, and I do not envy that life. <laughs> but, um, but interestingly, that was his first experience here in Norfolk, Virginia in the 90s when there was so totally not this kind of thing going on. And they traveled the country, the East Coast more specifically, looking for where they want to settle next. Lo and behold, they're settled here in Norfolk, just bought a house. Welcome to town, happy to have you as part of the community. Jennifer Vazirali. Um, I got that right. Yes, yeah, very impressive. <laughs> her and I just met this evening. Um, she grew up in Virginia Beach before pushing her bachelor's degree, pursuing her bachelor's degree at Virginia Tech and her MBA at the University of Pennsylvania's Wharton School of Business. She has spent the last 10 years working with three different tech startups in the DC area and has now returned home to teach here at ODU and invest in the next generation of Hampton Roads entrepreneurs. Last but certainly very not least is my no, friend. Uh, oh, yeah, no, I totally <laughs> overlooked you. <laughs> Second to last, and certainly not least, <laughs> is Andrea <laughs> Master Sergeant Andrea Murray. Uh, she's the innovation superintendent for the 480th ISR wing at Langley Air Force Base. She runs a nine-person office dedicated to acquiring new technologies, building networks across the DOD and the private sector, which is not a totally easy thing to do. Um, and she delivers education and training to 8,000 intelligent air, intelligence airmen worldwide. Certainly not least. And my friend Keith Saunders uh, is the owner of Not a Small Time Thing, which is a marketing consultancy uh, for startups and small businesses. And he's also a podcast producer. He's done some work with WHRO across the street um, and a cookie crawl advocate. Yes. What's a cookie crawl? Well, I'm a cookie fiend, so uh, if you've ever heard of a, a beer crawl before, cookie crawl is a similar. You just go from bakery to bakery and eat up the cookies and stuff like that. <laughs> we need to Last, watch out. It's a good, it's a good Valentine's Day. I'm sending you the cookie happening. <laughs> um, so you did that in New York City. You did it in New York City, right? yeah. You'd have to put a lot more miles on your car. <laughs> yeah. But uh, a worthy endeavor and awfully entrepreneurial. So thank you all for being here. I'm going to turn it over to Jerry, and he's going to tell you the rules, and then we'll get this party started. Cool. Uh, judges have a rubric to go go by, so they have kind of a score sheet in front of them. Uh, there are extras. There are extras. Yes, there are. So if anybody's interested in following along and kind of seeing how your scores okay. end up, uh, Chris will get those out to you. <coughs> okay. The rules are you have seven minutes to pitch, and you've heard <coughs> Mr. Cowbell there. At seven minutes, which will be indicated by a countdown clock, that bell goes off and no more speaking. And that same rule applies to the judges. So if you've ever seen like a talking head show on TV where 
you know, whoever has the last word and they somehow get three paragraphs in past the ending point, doesn't happen here. I've run concert stages before, and I, I know you've got to keep things on time. Okay, uh, in between pitches, oh, there's five minutes Q&A, which will be the judges. Judges only, so no questions from the audience or anything along those lines. Do you want to talk to the entrepreneurs and the pitchers later? Great, we really highly encourage that. But during the competition, questions only from the judges. Same rules apply. Five minutes, countdown timer, mean all Mr. Cowbell goes off. And wherever you are in your questions, it's where you stop. Um, the winner gets $757 as a prize. We also take them into our tempo program. That's something I run. That's based upon lean startup. So we'll help you firm up the business model and validate that. And once you have a validated model, how do you plan? How do you figure out your financial requirements? Where are you going to get funding from? We kind of guide you and Sherpa you through that entire process. And you also get a membership in something called BizConnect, which is a local business networking organization. Uh, and a, kind of a great deal. It's a year membership, if I remember correctly. So those are the rules. As Steve said before, video will be in progress. Uh, and everything's considered public domain. So. Any questions? We're, we're behind time, but not too far. All right, the first team we're going to hear from is uh, SRS. So if you gentlemen come up, we will get you started.